HubSpot is known for its powerful CRM and extensive suite of business tools. However, many people are unaware of their completely free AI website builder that allows anyone to quickly create and customize a functional and CRM integrated website. So today my focus is to guide you through how you can use HubSpot AI and their website builder to launch a stunning and professional website in under 15 minutes. Okay, so just quickly, before you go ahead and launch into HubSpot, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already, or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to help your small business thrive online. And with that happy note out of the way, let's go ahead and launch into HubSpot to build a stunning website for your brand. Okay, so here we are inside a free HubSpot account. Now, if you're yet to sign up to HubSpot, simply click on the link in the description below this video or head over to hubspot.com and create a free account. Now, once you've arrived inside HubSpot, simply navigate up to marketing and then come down to website and then click on website pages. And this is where we can create an integrated website directly inside of HubSpot. Simply choose a website template that you want to customize. Here by default, you can see that the growth theme is selected and these are the page templates that we can choose from and then customize the way that we like from inside the growth theme. We can click here, come down and change theme. Simply click view themes in the marketplace. And we want to get started with a free theme. So I'm going to navigate down here and click on free. And we just want to see high rated themes by clicking four star and up. And that's going to generate these themes that we can choose from. Then to preview a theme before deciding to use it, simply click on preview or click on view details. For the purpose of today's tutorial, I'm happy with this theme. We can also navigate through the features, what's included, support and reviews. I'm going to go ahead and click on install, then navigate over here and then click on install for free. Give HubSpot a moment to install that theme and click on set as my active theme and start building my site. Now what we're going to do is close this for now and then navigate back over to marketing and then come down to website and website pages again. Then click on get started again. Then you might have to click on theme and then come down and change theme again. And we're gonna use this theme that we just installed. Click on set as active theme. And that's gonna take us to the page templates that are included in this theme. And depending on the pages that you want, you can add these different template pages later on. For now, what we're going to do is build a home page. Simply come down to the home page template and click on select template. And it's incredibly easy to customize your website pages. Simply click on a section or element and then add your own content. And as you can see, we've quickly changed the content within this module. Now it's important to understand the structure of your pages. First we have sections, so that's this section here. Then within sections we have columns, and you can customize the column over here. Then within your column you have these modules. At the moment we have a text module here, and then we have a button module down here. Let's go ahead and customize this section. Simply click on style section, then come down to background, and you can see we have these background options for this section. We can change the background by adding a color, gradient, or an image. You can see we have this image here. We can replace it if we like, and then we can choose the image sizing, as well as the alignment down here. I'm happy with this section background for now, so I'm going to close this, and then navigate down to the column inside this section. If we click on Style Column, we can then style the column within this section. Again, if we click on Background, you can see we have a transparent background, that's because none is selected. However, if we click on color and then change the background color to let's say this blue color here, that's gonna change that column background. However, that doesn't look very attractive, so what we're gonna do is click on none and then close this. Now let's navigate down to this module here and I'm going to add my business name up here. Now with any of the text modules, you'll see these formatting options up here. We can change the sizing if we like, and then we have access to these other basic formatting options. Now let's navigate down the page and click on this module down here. And what we can do is leverage HubSpot's AI content assistant to help us create content for our website. Let's go ahead and click on paragraph and add a paragraph about our company here using AI. Simply navigate down here and add a prompt and add important information that you want the AI content assistant to use in the result. Okay, so as you can see, I've quickly added important information about my business and I want AI to generate an about us section for my business. Simply come down and click on generate. And as you can see, AI has generated this content for me. I'm happy with this, so I'm gonna come down and click on insert. 
However, you can regenerate if you like. I'm going to delete this section up here, this default text, and then add some formatting to this AI generated text. Okay, so I'm going to add another space down here. Then I'm going to change this content here. You can see that this is a list module. We can replace the icon that we have at the moment and to change or add the list item, simply navigate down here and add a new item or customize an existing item. And again, we can leverage AI up here if we like. I can rewrite, expand, shorten, or change tone. This is if I already have relevant content in here and I want to use AI to further improve that content. Okay, so I'm just going to change this and I'm happy with that. I'm going to click next and quickly change these other two list items. Okay, so I'm happy with this list. I'm going to close this and then click on this image here. And that's gonna generate this editor on the left hand side. We can replace the image, add an alt text for SEO. Essentially what you wanna do is describe this image. We can change the size, maximum size, and we can also add a link if we want to link this image to another page or an external destination. Then if we navigate up to styles, we have access to these different options like visibility, alignment and spacing, background and border. So again, with each of the different sections, columns and modules, you can make changes by simply clicking and then making changes on the left hand side. Or if it's a text module, you can simply make changes directly on the website page itself. So take the time to navigate through the default content and make your own custom changes. Remember you can leverage HubSpot's AI content assistant to help you create content on your website pages. Now, if we navigate over to the left-hand side and click on add, we have access to modules, sections, and layouts. For example, let's add a new section. And these are the different sections that we have access to within this theme. Let's go ahead and add frequently asked questions. Simply click on the section, and drag it to the position on the page that you want to add it to. I'm going to add it here. And if we navigate down the page, and that's been added here. Now you can see we've already got a frequently asked questions section. So what I'm gonna do is click on delete section and use this section that we just added. Again, simply click on each of the different modules and then add your own content. Okay, so I'm going to navigate up to add again. And this time I'm going to add a layout. I'm going to add a three column layout. Simply click on the layout and again, drag it and place it where you want to add that onto your website page. Then navigate over to modules. And here we have access to the theme modules. These are modules that are specifically built for this theme, this website theme that we selected. We have basic text modules over here, as well as commerce modules. For example, if we're selling a product, we can add a product module, a payment module to collect payments, or a meeting module to drive bookings or meetings. Then we have more options down here for modules. We have design, then functionality down here. We have forms and buttons, media, and more. Here I can add an image, an audio player, or a video, or these other options. If I wanted to add an image, all I need to do is click on that module and place that in the section over here. And then make changes on the left-hand side by uploading my own image. With this module, what I can also do is click on the module here and then click on clone module, and that's gonna clone that module. Okay, so I'm going to delete this. And then let's say I wanted to add a video module in here. All I would do is add the link to that video, and then let's go ahead and add one more module. This time, I'm just going to add a text module. And all I need to do is add my own content and play around with the formatting. Okay, so let's close this, and then navigate over to the left-hand side and click on optimize. This will show you recommendations of what you need to optimize on your website pages. You can see that I need to add a missing or blank image alt text. If we navigate up to the top, you can see I need to add a meta description. I can do that by clicking here. And then we have other recommendations above. So again, all you want to do is navigate through your website pages and make those customizations. You can also preview what your website looks like across devices, desktop and mobile. And then we have settings for your page. If we click on settings, here you want to title your page. This is our home page. Then we can come down and this is our domain. You can connect your own custom domain if you like to your website, which will add to the professionalism of your website. And you can do that here. Then the content slug should be the name of your website page. And then the meta description is going to help with your SEO as well as the featured image. I'm going to quickly add a meta description and then take the time to add a featured image, navigate down the page, click on page language. We're gonna add English. Then under advanced settings, you can add code snippets. This is if you wanna connect tracking tools and other different types of tools. Okay, so I'm happy with this. Let's go ahead and close settings. Once you've made any changes, go ahead and click on save. HubSpot will also automatically save your pages when changes are made. Now, when you're ready to launch and publish your page online, simply click on publish. 
However, for now, what we're going to do is click on exit. We want to add all our website pages. Simply navigate up to create and then click on website page, add your page name. This is going to be the contact page. Then click on create page, then choose a page template from your theme. We're going to go ahead and use this contact template. Then simply navigate through each of your pages like I just showed you and make those customizations. Now, once you've added and customized all your website pages, you want to customize your global footer. Any changes you make here will show on every footer of your website. Make sure you're adding your social media links, information about your business, your logo, and then links to your pages that you have on your website as well as other resources. Or you can customize this completely, add additional rows, additional information. You can simply do that by clicking on edit and then open in global content editor. Okay, so I'm going to cancel this for now. Again, once you've made any changes to your contact page or other page on your website, click on save. Let's go ahead and exit this page. And again, with each of your website pages, you wanna navigate over to settings and make sure you've added all the settings that I just mentioned earlier in the previous page. Okay, so for now, we're going to close this. And what I'm gonna do for the purpose of today's tutorial is quickly go ahead and add a few more pages. Okay, so as you can see, I've quickly gone ahead and added two more pages. However, what you want to do is take the time to customize each of your website pages using the AI content assistant, changing all the content, adding your own content and ensuring your pages are set up correctly, similar to what I showed you when customizing the homepage. Okay, so now that you've spent the time customizing your website pages, what we're going to do is now click on edit next to a page. And now we want to customize our header. We want to customize our logo and add our website pages to the primary menu. To do that, simply click here and then click open in global content editor. Then navigate up to this header, click here again, and let's first change the logo. I'm going to click on override default logo and upload my own logo. And here's the logo that I want to use. Then come down and add the alt text and then add a link if you like. This could link back to your homepage. However, for now, I'm just going to click apply changes and you can see our logo up here. Then come down to menu, click on create new, add your menu name. We're going to call this primary menu, then create. Click on add menu item and I'm just going to quickly add all my pages, home and then select page. And we have the home page down here. OK, so I'm going to quickly go ahead and add all my pages to the menu. And as you can see, I've added the home about services and contact page to the primary menu and these menu items are linking to the correct pages. Okay, so go ahead and click on save. Then what we're gonna do is head back to the global editor. And as you can see under menu, we have the primary menu that we just added. What we wanna do is come down and click on apply changes. And just like that, we have our primary menu selected here and you can see our menu items that we added. Now, if you can't see your menu items, it means that your pages are not yet published. To publish your website pages, simply head back to your website dashboard. And as you can see, I've quickly gone ahead and published each of these four pages. To publish your pages, simply click on more, and then you'll see publishing options, and then just select publish and then publish. And as you can see, it's as simple as that to create a website using HubSpot. You can leverage HubSpot's AI content assistant to help you create content for each of your website pages. Now, just quickly, what you can also do is navigate up to marketing, then to website and then blog. And this is where you can simply create blog posts for your website. You can see I have two here that are in draft. And if you want to add these posts to your website, you just need to add a blog module. Now you can also leverage AI to help you generate a blog post for you. So again, if you want to create content with your blog, you can manually create those blog posts or you can leverage AI to help you generate blogs for your website. And there we have it guys, that is it for this HubSpot tutorial, helping you build a stunning and practical website using HubSpot. Now, if you have any questions about this tutorial, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.